Hey guys, my name is Zentech. Welcome back to Fortnite today. Patch 4.2 is out and the new perk recombobulator is here. Now there's some really important things that we're going to cover in today's video. I hope you guys can follow along with them. Their patch notes are available. You can check them out for yourself. I'm going to be talking about those in today's video. But essentially, the perk recombobulator allows you to change your weapons and upgrade them and make them way better than ever before. And you have the ability to swap out some of these different individual stats and roles if you desire. Now the to access the perk recombobulator, you need to visit the upgrade screen. So you can go to the upgrade screen right away, but you're not going to see anything because what you need to do is you need to actually complete some various quests before you get into the action. Now, in order to access the perk recombobulator, you need to complete Plankerton Storm Shield Defense 2. And upon completion, these tutorial quests will unlock that will allow you to access the perk recombobulator. So you have to go and do all of these various different things in order to unlock it. So before you upgrade a weapon and complete these tutorial quests, you need to go into your upgrade screen, click upgrade and modify perks. Now if it's a legacy item that you had before patch 4.2, you're going to need to convert it in order to actually access the modified perks. Now this storm blade deals energy damage. So what's going to happen is it's going to give me a slot for energy damage and so if I want to I can convert this to something else now obviously I don't necessarily want to do that because energy is actually pretty okay um, the thing that I do want to get rid of is the 22.5 percent damage to stun staggered and knockdown targets because that's pretty wasted in my opinion and then not only that but like these things happen at different levels now like the perks show up at different levels and then also I'm not entirely sure if I really like the 25% impact and knockback magnitude, I want to probably change that as well. But you'll see that instead of having the stat just on the weapon now, I actually have the ability, it's, it shows up in a, in a slot here, and so I we can upgrade this if we want to. And then we also get a free slot and then affliction damage for 6 seconds, which is nice because uh, this thing doesn't have that by default. Uh, it's just an energized blade with a fast swing, uh, great sustained damage. Deals energy damage is fairly effective against elemental enemies, and there's no mention of uh, affliction in here at all, so that's kind of nice. So, unless of course it does it by default, I don't think it does though. Um, so, we're going to go ahead and convert this because uh, it doesn't really change. The only thing it really changes is this 20% damage, which uh, we'll be able to pick something here. So, we're going to go ahead and go to convert, and... I should get all of those different things. So for my free slot, I can do movement speed. Whoa, leech life? That's kind of nice. Okay, damage resistance. Durability would be nice. Okay, after thinking about it for a while, I do think I'm going to do durability because I think this is going to come in handy a lot later on, especially if I go through and like upgrade this thing to the next tier up. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to... Um, I'm going to choose durability. So, that's going to upgrade that to durability, which should be good in the long run. We get all these different things that we can collect here, and now we have durability, and we can increase this. So here's where the upgrade happens. Oh, and I can replace it too if I do decide later on. If you guys think I should have chosen something else, go ahead and leave that there in the comments below. Uh, but I can actually upgrade this even more if I want to. It does take 225 out of the 225 that I have. So I can upgrade the durability on that. I do want to get rid of this. 18% uh, damage to miss monsters and bosses. 22.5% damage to afflicted target. That is what I want to do because I have the afflictions, the affliction for six seconds. And so I want to upgrade this because that's going to be nice because I'm going to get that affliction damage and even more damage now. And so we're going to go ahead and confirm that. This is just making this thing, this thing stronger finally. I did, I did not like that stat at all. And then you can increase 68% crit damage if you want to replace the... 15% damage by default. Uh, the crit hit chance on the sword is actually kind of low, though. That might be good if I put this on, like, um, a scythe or something like that. That that could come in handy 
Uh, but I think I'm, I think I like the base damage, and I might just upgrade that. All right, so that's it for uh, just kind of upgrading this thing for the time being. We'll come back to this later on, probably. But let's talk about some of the other things that are currently going on. So another thing that's important to know is that these various different uh, perks items are going to be showing up in the event store on Wednesday, May 16th. We got Reperk, which is going to be used to change and upgrade the perks. Perk Up, which is used to upgrade the perks. And then we got Fire Up, Amp Up, and Frost Up, which is Fire, Nature, and Water, respectively. And those are going to be found in the event store. So definitely, if you, are, if you want more of them, you can check them out here. But there are other ways that you can get them as well, which we're going to talk about right now. Another thing I should say too before we get further into the video is that there is now the ability to increase the rarity of a weapon that just like in the same way that um, the hero rarity upgrade is there. Uh, so if you want to upgrade things you can definitely do that uh, through the upgrade menu as well. So they've gone through and they've updated mission rewards and mini boss mission alerts to sometimes award re-perk and perk up as secondary loot items and the way that you get the other various things like amp up is to complete these new elemental storm mission alerts that are now available so as you can see here underneath this retrieve the data lightning storm is one of the elemental things here and you get 30 amp up as a reward for this one and so that's how you can get some of these new things let's see if we can find another one here's an ice storm so you get frost stuff from doing this bomb uh, so I mean there's different missions that are now available that are going to award you with these new perk upgrades and all you got to do is complete this mission to get that and then also if you kill uh, elemental husks in these zones they can also drop those things respectively so in addition to that there are also these different quests now under the event blockbuster but these are they're going to be repeatable quests that you're going to be able to uh, do to get you these new perk currencies so if you go underneath uh, like for example here fortune and glory open 10 cash you get re-perk uh, miss monster re-perk when fire starts to burn kill 300 fire husks in successful missions you get fire up nature amp up frost up you get it and so these are all going to be here you guys can complete these you guys want more more currency that way um, and then i also need to do um, this thing i gotta upgrade i gotta upgrade a perk to uh, unlock more of these so we should definitely do that so another really cool important thing to know is that the quad launcher is a new weapon that is coming to the game and that will be found in the event store starting on Wednesday May 16th this thing holds four incendiary rockets that leave balls of fire behind after they explode that sounds freaking awesome uh, but uh, you can find that available Wednesday May 16th and it is the 16th but they're not in the store yet because it's at 8 p.m. E Eastern time and so I'm recording this super early in the morning so this is this has yet to up update and when that updates that's when we're gonna be able to get that get a hold of that quad launcher so unfortunately there is no gameplay of that in today's video so guys there's a bunch of other different things that have been updated but um, like an added to the game like different effects for traps and stuff like that but um, currently I mean that's pretty much it for this video uh, I hope you guys really enjoyed this I'm super excited to be like upgrading my various different weapons because there's some of my some of my weapons I really 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 want to just make them way more powerful um, and just make them better off than they were before like this thing I could probably upgrade this uh, because let's go ahead and modify the perks on this we'll show the preview of this so currently it's got a 30 reload 30 max size 20 damage 20 damage it's very powerful and i'm gonna get 20 damage 30 reload my max size looks like it's leaving i'm getting affliction and my energy uh we got this as the damage here um i'm gonna convert this because it's going to get in, rid of increased impact by 40 percent stun duration increased by one percent i don't know what's in this slot right here i might be able to choose this I, actually i don't know if i want to upgrade this um because th this impact is pretty heavy and i really like this i don't think i should upgrade this i don't think i should so i'm not going to upgrade that uh to the new uh, but this is the this is the thing it's like well do i accept these as the base stats and like that's what it's going to be forever or do i want to upgrade some of these things like well i think i had like up uh 
reload speed like i can upgrade that if i want to upgrade the damage i, don't, I just don't know guys it's such a hard choice uh specifically because i don't know what's in there you know uh, so I don't know guys let me know what you think in the comments below let me know what you think I should do if you have any other suggestions I you know maybe I chose the wrong thing for this sword I I'm pretty happy with the with the uh, with the durability because I think that's gonna be nice but I could also see how damage resistance and life leech and movement speed could be nice um, I don't know guys let me know in the comments below what you think of these different changes in the game and I really just hope you guys are having a great day things are going well Things are going well for you in your life. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one.